Ahmed, of course, we know you well on TRT World. Do you really believe that the Americans didn't tell the Iraqi government that they were about to launch these strikes? Well, uh, it's supposed to be those strikes uh, happened after uh, uh, the, the announcement of the Americans to the prime minister himself before uh, three, five minutes before the attack. That's what the Americans said. In a way or another, all those attacks between each other, between uh, Qatar, Hezbollah, and the American forces uh, uh, inside Iraq, it's, it's just like sending messages between, between Tehran and, and, and Washington, in a way or another. Uh, why is that? Because there is something on there about, uh, uh, in way or another, the, the, the majority that it's happened inside the parliament to change the uh, electoral law and also for the changing the committee, it will uh, some sort going to resolve uh, the power of the, of the uh, presented blocks and political parties, political blocks that already backed by the Iranian uh, in Iraq. So it shows you that those attacks actually messages, and I don't think it will happen again. Uh, the, the two partners, or let's say to the two parts, uh, already understood well uh, those messages. Uh, there are more than 10 attacks happened, uh, some of them announced, some of them not announced by uh, Qatar Hezbollah against the American forces in Iraq. And what's happened yesterday is actually uh, the retaliating, actually the, the, the reflect of the Americans against all those uh, uh, accumulated attacks on the American soldiers in Iraq. And uh, let us not forget uh, the, the ASPER, uh, the, the defense secretary, actually told Adr Abdel Mahdi several times that we are already attacked by the Qatar Hezbollah and you are not doing anything. So, so it, it shows you that how much uh, the dangerosity happened uh, yesterday and how much uh, it will affect on regional and also international relations uh, on the, uh, between Tehran and Washington. Okay, so you've indicated a whole load of different things there, Ahmed. You're talking about the messages being sent between Washington and Tehran, and uh, therefore, in this particular instance, Iraq being caught in the middle. Uh, but you're also talking about the electoral changes, the electoral law changes, that the discussions that are happening there. Just explain to us what the messages that Washington and Tehran are exchanging here at the moment. So would I be right in understanding that Iran doesn't want those electoral laws changed and therefore the Americans are warning Iran to stay out of Iraq's affairs? Yeah, definitely. In a way or another, all those international relations, all those uh, attacks, actually, it, it all will reflect on the uh, uh, regional politics and even the local politics here in Iraq. Uh, we all know that uh, Qatar Hezbollah is with the, uh, they are PMO forces, and we all, not, we all know also that <coughs> the, the political blocs that supporting uh, Qatar Hezbollah is already inside the parliament. They are called the Bina, and they are backed by the Iranians. So it shows you that how much it's connected uh, that it will weaken more Albina inside the parliament in a way that maybe, just maybe, it will push us to the early elections. And it will push uh, also to accept, the Iranian will accept, uh, accept uh, and the Bina will accept the candidate of the, uh, to be a prime minister who is now mainly uh, Abdel Ghani al-Assadi, and uh, the other one is uh, Tawfiq al-Yasiri. And both of them, they are generals in the Iraqi army, and both of them have a good relations with the, with the Americans. While these Iranian-backed militias continue to operate inside Iraq, is there any chance for the country to move beyond its historical sectarian politics, all of which has obviously worsened since the fall of Saddam Hussein? Uh, I don't think so. It's not possible now. It, it looks like that. It will be escalated. There will be no attacks. I think there will be no attacks anymore. But it will be escalated on the political basis rather than to be military basis. Uh, and uh, we all know that there are demonstrations in the streets, and uh, we have a resigned government, and we need to uh, accept someone who will be the prime minister for a temporary period until the early elections. It will happen maybe in six months or maybe in one year. So all those variations, uh, but after the attacks yesterday, actually have been settled in a way or another to the balance, or let's say, to the side of the Americans rather than to the Iranian. Ahmed, thank you always uh, for your time here on TRT World. Ahmed Rushi speaking to us from Baghdad.